Good morning, McDonald Elementary School. This is Mr. Ortiz with today's Lexia update for April 12th, 2021. There's been a big shakeup up top and we have our second slide where we have the top classrooms, five new top classrooms, and we've added a number of classrooms to the 100 club. So let's get started. All right, everyone, here are the Lexia standings for today, April 12th, 2021 from McDonald Elementary School. And in terms of the percentages, this is what it's looking like, really close. Third place, 74%. Second place, 75%. And then first, 77%. The competition this week was fierce, and it was only three percentage points separating third from first. Incredible. Who was in third place? Second grade, wow. The top grade from last week, now third place, 74%, an excellent percentage, but you come from first down to third. It looks like we need to kind of step the game up there second grade if you're gonna reclaim that top spot. So now we know that this week we have a new first place grade, which means second place might determine who's in first. But as you can see, two percentage points separating second from first. Well, who's in second place? Fifth grade, wow. So you leapfrogged into second place. You told me you were going to beat second grade. That's what I heard, and you did. However, fifth grade, it wasn't enough to claim the first place in the Lexia standings for McDonald, April 12th, 2021. That goes to... Guess who's back? who's back back again it's kindergarten reclaiming the first place spot after a few weeks of not being in first and then if you remember they fell out of the top three but they have climbed back to the top of the mountain congratulations kindergarten now in terms of everyone else still an incredible job first third and fourth grade you're all doing a, a super job we had 743 friends logging minutes last week and remember we want to keep that number of 50 percent of all the mcdonald friends earning their minute goals what was that 60 percent if you remember two weeks ago was 56 percent after the after our shortened week well we actually still had a shortened week last week and we still were able to hit 60% of the votes, uh, the votes. I'm thinking like, it's like we're voting here. 60% of the students. That's right. So kindergarten, congratulations. It looks like fifth grade's on a mission again. Second play, a uh, second grade and third place. You gotta, gotta step it up there if you really wanna keep that top spot. It's hard to stay on top. Now, in terms of top performing classrooms in each grade, we have a mix up here, kindergarten, Mrs. Johnson's classroom taking the top spot in the kindergarten grade. Congratulations. They had 92% of their friends. It might have been higher than that. I was looking at so many numbers, but they were, they were near perfect. First grade, Mrs. Macy's classroom. Congratulations, Mrs. Macy's room for first and first place. First place in first grade. So those are two new names. Do the new names keep going? Remember last week, Mrs. Micklix was second the top second grade classroom. Who is it this week? Mrs. Ward's classroom back on top, reclaiming the top spot in second grade. In third grade, it's been Ms. Morrison's classroom for as long as I've been doing this slide, but does that continue? It sure does. Ms. Morrison's classroom holding on to the top spot. There have been a consistent name on this, this particular page since it's been created. Fourth grade, who's the top classroom in fourth grade? Mr. Chester, that's right. They're flexing their muscles and showing Mrs. Markowski, hey, we got this because last week was Mrs. Markowski's top spot. Now it's Mr. Chester. And in fifth grade, the top spot. To the bearded classroom themselves, Mr. Pisacano's classroom. And you know, if you notice, I'm growing a beard. It's not quite like Mr. Pisacano's beard, but the beard and the team in C21, uh, C, yeah, C21, earning that top spot right there. Great job. Okay, so the Lexia 100 Club, we have a number. Remember, last week was just one classroom. We have a number of classrooms this week. Let's go. Mrs. Macy's classroom in first grade, 100%. Your first time on the 100 Club. Mrs. Quinn's second grade class, 
their second week in a row. That's why there's a two there. Not because it's in a row. It's just second time on this list. Great job. Mrs. Ward's classroom, getting back on this 100 Club page, their fourth time leading the way. And you have Mrs. Quinn's third grade classroom. Wow, Mrs. Quinn, what do you just put them on Lexia all day? No, I know you don't do that, but great job. They have Mrs. Stevens' fifth grade classroom. Incredible. They're, they are on this for the first time. And then last but not least, Mrs. McGratton's fifth grade reading group. 100% of the friends earning their minute goals. They're on the Lexia 100 Club. Look at that. We went from one classroom last week or one group to six groups this week. Great job to all of you. So there you have it, friends. The Lexia update for this week, kindergarten. Guess who's back? Back again, that's right. They were on top for so long and now they, they, they had some hard times and they've climbed their way back to the top. Great job, kindergarten. Now the question is, will you stay on top or will we have this ever-changing uh, first place for Lexia next week? We'll see, we have a full week ahead of us. Now we've had two shortened weeks in a row and that's what maybe hurt fifth grade, but I believe they're determined. Second grade, they actually are, they had a video ready, but we're gonna have to put it on hold now, second grade. And I got to give a shout out to first, third, and, and fourth grade. You, all of you are doing an incredible job and keep up the great work. Have a great learning day, everyone. I'll see you next week with the Lexia update.